Surprise, we're live. Pull up the comments. No one's going to see that yet because no one's watching yet because we just did this completely out of the blue. But if you are watching this on a replay watch, uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, you might be watching it because we are going to announce our giveaway winners for this. All right, so it looks like a couple people are popping into our random, completely random live. Uh, we found a good time slot, hopefully not on you know anyone else's time slot. I know a lot of people are going to be going to the Beard of Pop one at 9 o'clock. Hey, Chep 3 Pops, can you guys hear me, anybody that's watching? Bearded Collector, what's going on? Hopefully you guys can hear. My microphone's confusing me because the button is lit up like it's on, but the button is out, so I don't know. Hopefully something good. Hailstorm, what's up? All right, good. So they can hey, hear us. Hey, Bearded Barbarian. Hey, what's up? Bearded Barbarian. All right, let's uh, let's get this banner going up. This one. Boop. Uh, so you guys know, last week, uh, hey, no problem, Rigo G. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Mark, what's up? Last week, we had our nerdy newt box. And mm -hmm. uh, so there's six pops in here that you guys saw. And it's part of our continuous Christmas, right? Is this the one? Yeah, yeah with the Conan. Yeah. So in this in this box, continuous Christmas every Saturday ish. Maybe tomorrow we're doing the Sunday one. We put a video up and we have, you know, all the pops can qualify. And I think we got 303 likes, which I'm pretty sure qualifies everything except for the Conan. So we got the narrator chase. We got that Clay Morrow. We got that Mickey that a lot of people said they liked, which is really cool because it is a really cool box. It's a cute one. Uh, we got Invisible Man. We got the Terra. That was a, a decent surprise. 20 bucks. Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah. And then this one didn't qualify because this one's amazing. But the Conan as Batman. That's such a good one. Yeah, this one, would need, it has a little bit of damage, but this one would need 950 likes or so. We got 300, so all the other ones are... That's still a good amount of pops. Yeah, I mean, the from, yeah, so. the narrator pop chase. That's a cute one. So I can't make any promises that, that we won't cool. take the penguin out and then replace it with like a piece of paper that we colored. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tom, hey DPJ, Tats, what's up? Carmen, not in San Diego. How's it going? Uh, Thomas Funko, what's up? Um, yeah, so that's one thing we're gonna do. And we are going to be doing during this live. That's a lot of. A lot of D's we are going to be doing during this live. JJ, what's up? Um, so we're going to bring that up on the screen. We also have, and what Lindsay is really hoping for, I don't know if you guys saw the description. So what's this, Lindsay? Stitch. This is the Funko Shop Stitch. We Still have two sealed. of them in here, yeah. Still sealed. Now, we could, we bought two. We also had two that, what did you do with the other two? Uh, I had two shipped to my mom's house. And uh, so those two are on the way to us now. Yeah, we bought two for us and then we sent two to her mom's house because we didn't know if that limit of like two per household was still in effect. And we didn't have time. I never know. Yeah, we didn't have time to really think. So we're just like, buy and send and we'll just pay double shipping. It's fine. So it's fine. in today's video, we have two chances for the chase and upcoming we have two. Uh, DPJ says, Lindsay, don't steal the power. I, I won't, but it is really cute. It's still in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's still in there. He is in there. And we also have this guy that came out same day as a stitch. Hey, Sharon, what's up? <laughs> All right, so we're just going to open this up. This is a couple of random things that we bought. We haven't looked at any of these yet, but we also we really hope we get that, that stitch chase. Oh, my gosh, yeah. People are, hey, Nadia, what's up? People are already asking, um, what is it, like $250 Some for a ridiculous stitch chase. Price. I totally forgot that we got the cutest things. Both of these are Lindsay size. Yep. Ta-da! <laughs> so at least if I don't get the chase, I at least have it in shirt form. So that's cute. Yeah. And I think we'll have to get it in the chase eventually, no matter what. Maybe it'll, oh. maybe it'll come down in value. Who knows? This one's really cute, too. I really like that one. I want I want to get that that pop so bad. We saw it at Hot Topic the other day, but it's it's so much bigger, and we just yeah the pop rides are pretty big. Room. And we were talking recently about the ten inch pops being really big. 
that, oh, I only got two. So this box was to fit <laughs> these two, which and, are this big. And two t-shirts. And two t-shirts. Yeah, so what I did is I bought the t-shirts and I needed just a little bit more to get over free shipping. So I thought, why not these mystery minis? Hmm, I wonder what we'll get. I'm hoping for scrump. Oh, that'd be really cool. <laughs> that was awesome. Somehow it landed in like the two legs to the desk perfectly. Chase Sticks went for over 100 on Funko King's auction earlier today. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. I didn't get Stitch. It doesn't, or a scrump. It didn't feel like. I think I got the, I think I got the older sister. That's my guess. Oh, no. I know who I got. Nadia said today was the shave your head challenge. Well, that's pretty crazy. We're going to check that out. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, you got the, the main, what is that? Like the, the bad guy. The main I don't bad know. guy. One and, out of 24, though. And I did get the sister. Nice. One out of 12. So we're hoping for a common of the one out of six scrump. <laughs> but that is still pretty cute. So yeah. I mean, those are pretty much free, right? They're the price of shipping. Yeah, that's a. Oh, did you see <laughs> collectible cords? Is here? What's going on? Uh, this is funny. I don't know if it'll happen again, but she's top heavy and her head's round. So when she falls, she like rolls up on top of her head. <laughs> All right, so do you guys want to jump into this right now? I know Lindsay doesn't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Should I open these now? There's a stitch, hopefully the stitch chase. Do, 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 do. If not, I'm going to at least open the box now. Yeah. A little bit of damage from the post office slash UPS. So hopefully, yeah. Hopefully not too bad. Hey, little storm, what's going on? Tom said yes. That's all we need. Okay. One that's Good. like the Facebook thing that's like, if I get one like, I'm going to go fishing. <laughs> Okay, so these don't look damaged. All though. right, we got a little bit of damage on that one. Hopefully not too bad. They raised fifteen hundred dollars. My up? sister and a friend of ours oh, wow. did it all three. That's awesome. That is pretty crazy. I'm nervous. Well, open it, Lindsay. We're hoping for the. Ch oh yes! my gosh! First one. Sorry <laughs> if you guys are on headphones or anything. Oh, oh yes oh my gosh oh i'm so <laughs> glad i'm so glad lindsay lindsay no oh we got a chase stitch so if one of these does have damage we have the backup one. Oh my gosh Woo! two for two now i really hope that uh the other ones are regular ones so we can have look both. how big his mouth is yeah we we forgot um I was going to start this off by saying we have the worst, like, chase luck. We we do. And that's why I was like, all right, we'll get four because odds are we probably won't get any. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we're, we're so bad at getting chases like organically. Now, Spastic mm. does a really cool thing with their sodas. If you buy a six-pack, then they ship you the container that Funko ships out, so it's guaranteed to chase. Uh, so just to let you know, we have a bunch of those from Funko Ween. Have you guys ordered a bunch of stuff off oh, Funko Ween? Oh, Yeah. Like what did, what did you guys pre-order so far? I'm gonna there's, look. I'm gonna look up what we pre-ordered. There's been some good stuff. I don't know how to look up what we pre-ordered, but I don't even know. I don't want to spend too much time. Um, but the sodas that that came out that we're really interested in. What are we interested in? Booberry. What? Yeah, booberry. Count Chocula. And what is it, Fruit Brew? Yep. So those three, those are you know coming out soon. Uh, yeah, pre-ordered a lot and all the sodas exactly. Hello, what's up, below average gaming dad? We um, did get Dwight. That's all I remember. Sully. Oh yeah, Sully. Mickey. Yep. We got you know when Freddy comes out. Hopefully we'll be able to get those because. Uh, Freddy's what, a 15,000 piece or 12,000 piece? Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. So it's not super limited. It should be something that everybody can get. I kind of just want the common of it. Yeah. Because it, it matches the little Freddy that like I got you for yeah. your, your birthday or Christmas or something. Well, Sharon's saving some money. So, I oh, mean, I'm so sorry. When it comes down to foot surgery versus, versus some sodas, that's a good one. Yeah. And I'm sure we're going to be doing 10 can Freddy. Yeah, maybe. And I'm pretty sure, hey, Nadia, have a good one. 
No problem. Thanks for raising money. That's awesome. Can't wait to hear more about that. Uh, Janine says, I couldn't get it to the sodas. Makes me so sad. I so far ordered Nightmare Before Christmas train. Yeah, the That's train such a cool, oh my gosh, the little zero on the little duck. That yeah, that's adorable. amazing. Vincent Price, right, with the cat and Carrie. Uh, and I saw something recently. Somebody, I forget who was on, on uh, YouTube talking about the Carrie. And people are complaining that there wasn't a bloody Carrie pop, but there already was a bloody Carrie pop. So this one's pretty cool. It's like her, uh, I'm pretty sure it's at the prom or whatever, just about to get the blood dumped on her. Blood dumped on her. Yeah, Sharon, have a good one. Or no, Sharon's saying bye to somebody. But yeah, you know, yeah, good luck on the foot surgery. Elvira, obviously. Oh, yes, we did have to get Elvira. And the Elvira is a common. So that's, I, I don't know if I would call it a common, but it's not a 1500 piece like the other Elviras. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Elvira, we got that one. She's got like a heart in her hand or something. I think I saw it. Yeah. But it's the glitter. So that's really cool. And, it, you know, you can get on Amazon right now if you want to take a chance at Amazon shipping for like $10 shipped. That's not bad. Uh, zombie Thor. And of all the zombie ones, that's a really cool one. I love the molds of the zombie ones, mm -hmm. but there's just so many that I'm scared to like get into them. Yeah. Recently, I don't know what box it was, but we got the the Morbius, and like you could see like a spine through his stomach, and Lit. it's just really cool. And then the 10 inch zombie Black Panther that is just incredible detail because it's 10 inch, so you can actually look at all of it. But that's cool. The fluffy was really cool looking. Mark I, got the I fluffy. Like, I like the design of those. I missed the Amazon. We missed the glow, Amazon Glow Joker. Glow yeah. Joker. Yep. I think I think you can still get Elvira somewhere, Tom. I'm not sure. Who's doing what's up? What's going on? But yeah, there's so many good, like that probably set us back good amount. We didn't even go crazy either. No, we didn't. I am uh kind of excited for the little monster cereal boxes because they're pretty cute. Do you see little Count Chocula's hand? He's like, oh <laughs> and Frankenberry oh. is like this. Oh, and they're so cute. Booberry has his tongue out. Spastic still has Elvira. Yeah, if somebody's looking for spastic. Uh, so Janine says the They Live Pops and Ash Pops. So guess who's a They Live fan and guess who made someone watch? I couldn't find it on Hulu or Netflix and I didn't want to like rent it from Amazon. Mm -hmm. So we just watched a YouTube like review of it that had all the good parts in it. Yeah. But oh my gosh, I love, I love that. I love They Live. I think it's really awesome. All the sodas and Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is the big deal right now. Mm -hmm. And I am like four or five episodes in on Demon Slayer. So thanks a lot, Average Joe Show. <laughs> Get me into anime and stuff. For real, though. I'm going to pull up what my, uh, what's the, hey, Ginger Pop, what's going on? Uh, I'm on episode eight of Demon Slayer. So I'm in there. Now, at first I was, the first episode I was like, okay. But now I'm, I'm getting into it more. And I, I know that's what you have to do with some of these shows is just watch the episodes, just get into it. Jack Skellington Funko Pop. There's some great ones. Gizmo with the little 3D glasses. Sharon, so cute. Sharon, see you guys later. Or see you later. Yeah, Gizmo's like, and then there's a Target exclusive flocked Gizmo. Yeah. That one's awesome. Yeah, we, we got a decent amount. We got, yeah, we got some sodas. Like we said, the Dwight, the Mickey the sully sully and we ordered those i'm pretty sure all those from spastic so we got the we used our own code so we got 10 percent off and then we get the six pack so you're guaranteed one uh i think i actually ordered like a couple sully from somewhere else we got mickey hey what did dad buy today what's going on hi friends um and then just a number of like elvira we did get demon slayer uh one of the chases we ordered a six pack you know what we did not order though? Any of the office pops. Yeah, we're we're kind of we're questioning it right now. Uh there's I, I texted them and I was like, oh, 97 more came out because like we haven't even gotten the ones that we pre-ordered like four months ago. So I'm like, I, yeah, I still just want to get those. We're waiting for like Phyllis and those other ones. Yeah, I think there's a Ryan and some Creed. Like we haven't yeah, gotten the, any of the them. Creed so. Chase and stuff. And those are coming in and then they just introduced these ones and we did have a complete set and now it's like it's growing even faster than we can order them so yeah. we're like, all right let's slow down and maybe just at least do one character yeah hey denver what's going on the jack skellington train set is awesome that and is really cool hey garrett what's up and ryan says he likes carrie as well uh 
but yeah, the uh, what is it? The train set. Look what happened to Dumbo for the Funko Shop exclusive one. Yeah. So when that one drops, everyone's going to be going for it. Oh, yeah. If you're looking to complete the train set, everybody knows that people are going to be looking to complete the train set and they're going to be going on that one. Halloween is around the corner. The Scooby three pack. That's awesome. Walking Dead. Uh, the DC, whatever. Lindsay says it better. Dia than de Los Muertos. Yeah. <laughs> And they, yeah, they did go overboard with the amount of office pops. So they many. did. It sucks. So many. Uh, but it's, you know, it's fun because it's, it's really profitable for them. So it makes sense. But I'm really glad that they finally did uh, the office soda. Yeah. So that's nice. That's only opening another just bag of worms, though. Yeah, because it's only a matter of time before they have 47 Dwight sodas and then one Michael or something. <laughs> oh, using. Using the throne set for Halloween decorations, like the like the Game of Thrones stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, the Glowchester cat from Bam. I heard that. Uh, I don't know if that already went out and everybody just everybody was pretty much like, everyone was pretty much excited about that. Uh, I did see that a couple places, but we didn't really know about that one as much. Yeah. Um, being at work all those days, just it was always like in that window. I was either sleeping when they were going on pre-order. Or, you know, it was after I was at work when everything was being announced. So I missed a lot of the announcements. The train set. Okay. I, I did it with a, for Christmas. We used the little Christmas town for Christmas decorations. Yeah. So. Using the train set for Halloween decorations it's a good idea. would be amazing. Yeah. That would be awesome. Uh, all the Demon Slayer that was available except for Hot Topic. And those, you know, everybody's right. Those are going to be big hits coming up. And everybody knows it too. Uh, the masks. Oh, those are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so first off, I was like, who's going to want those watches? And then I me. said, me, I'm going to want those watches. Yeah. I will wear a little booberry or Frankenberry or count watch to work. I don't care. Um, the masks <laughs> are pretty cool. I can't wear those to work, but, no. uh, the target Dwight, because that was in the, the credits of every episode. I don't, what one was the target? Is the target one with him with his little blow torch or is that a different one? Oh, I don't know. I just, I just, I, thought, I just didn't look. Yeah, I, I didn't take, uh, I didn't take a super long look at all the office pops because I just. Bearded collector wants the wants the watches. They're well. really cute. Because at first I was like, I was like, those are awesome. Like I would want one, and I thought like, how many other people would want one? And I, if I would, I mean, maybe some other people would. And all my watches, the batteries are dead because I haven't worn them in so long. So I just have this like nice watch case with nice watches in them because I got into watches for a little bit. And they're all just all just random times and not moving anymore. Yep. Uh yeah, the first announcement, the Disney villains, the those were pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad that we're not like a Disney completionist because that would be oh, a billion we, pops. I don't think we'd ever be able to do that. We can't even be a stitch completionist, uh, because there's still some random ones out there, and we have so many out of box ones. I'm so glad that this is so cute. This is so weird. Like this is not how no things normally go for us. So yeah, well, that's a good. <laughs> it's a good one. It was good for our live, at least. Yeah. Bam website is broken for hours yesterday and came up with Cheshire Cat still available on that fifty percent off code. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if anybody is looking for the Cheshire Cat, that might work out for them. Yeah. Um, also, just let you know, uh, uh, like always, our computer and internet is being weird. So if it just <laughs> dies out, that's what happened. We're sorry, but hopefully it's still doing all right. Yeah. Um. We are going to do, uh, if you guys weren't here at the beginning, we are going to be announcing last week's winner. And then for this week, tomorrow, we have a mystery box that we filmed that we're going to put up as the continuous Christmas that will be available next week for a giveaway. Yep. Hey, Wayne Kale, what's going on? Uh, I see a lot of cool things happening with your channel. I see you guys teaming up with Beard of Pop and stuff like that. That's yeah. awesome. Um, but yeah, so we'll get into... Let's just bring it up now. Okay. So what I did, and hopefully this works out. Boop. Share a screen. Okay. And a Chrome tab. And random comment picker. Okay. okay. Perfect. All right. So we loaded up these for the giveaway. And uh, this is from last week's video. So if you guys don't remember... It's the Nerdy Newt $300 box. I'm pretty sure it was the $300 box. But Nerdy Newt. Something like that. Yeah, and there's all these pops in here. I think five qualified. We got 300 likes, so the rule is 
300 divided by five is the PPG that you can do. And uh, so we're just going to say that everything's qualified except for the Conan didn't get qualified. Yeah. Um, and we're going to pick, uh, you know what, because we're doing a slide, we'll just pick two winners. And so the first person gets their, the first choice. Second person gets the second choice. And remember, it is international shipping. Uh, we'll pay $5 towards international shipping. And then if you want to pay the difference, if it's worth it to you. All right. All right. Hey, Nick, what's going on? JJ, Drew, what's up? Uh, so hopefully you guys can see this. We got the video logged in there. Filter duplicate users. And remember, we don't do any hashtags or anything in these type of giveaways. So it's just if you commented, you're eligible to win. So we got 157 unique comments. And let's see. Um, let's just go ahead and do our thing. Yeah. Three, two, one. Boop, 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 boop. 18. 18 game and toys. So awesome Conan pop. Not bad at all. And that really is an awesome, awesome pop. Yeah, it is. Too bad that is not in this giveaway. But A-Team, when you see this, uh, and we'll also get a hold of you in a few different ways, you have first choice of these five pops. So uh, congrats to A-Team for the first win. And we are going to have a second one as well. Hey, James, what's up? All right. Hey, Patty, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Memorial Day weekend. Oh, yeah. Um, so Memorial Day weekend, uh, my little thing I always say about Memorial, Memorial Day weekend is a lot of people are like, hey, don't forget what it's all about. And it's true. Don't forget what it's all about. But also don't like not celebrate and have a good time and go do your cookout and go do all that stuff at the same time. Right. So being a veteran myself, I know that everybody serves with. Uh, and, you know, anybody who Memorial Day applies to, which is sad, but they wouldn't want you to be sitting around all day moping just because of the idea. The idea is to celebrate their lives and celebrate everything they did and uh, celebrate the greatest sacrifice type thing. Uh, so, you know, keep in your heart, keep in your mind, but at the same time, enjoy the weekend, have a good time, uh, and don't let people guilt you into not having a good time. So I know it's a weird that, thing. But yeah, that's fair. That's my Memorial Day pitch. So happy Memorial Day to everybody. <laughs> Um, and we're probably gonna put a couple things up this weekend for Memorial Day, but uh, all right, so let's find out who the second, uh, for no reason winner is just just for fun. Lindsay's like, Oh no, I gotta ship more stuff. <laughs> so, boop, 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 oh, Prince, Prince Vegeta. Vegeta, uh, you forgot to mention a gift card. I'll tell you. <laughs> I remember that comment, yeah. So, Prince Vegeta is often one of the first, if not second, um, uh, commenters on a lot of videos. So, congratulations, and we will. Uh, get a hold of both people uh, by replying to their comments. And uh, yeah, so first pick is A team, second pick is Prince Vegeta. All right. So, congrats to everybody on that. Uh, and that was fun. And remember, every Saturday and then tomorrow for Sunday, every weekend where you put up a video and anything in that video is up for grabs if we get the amount of likes. So, we're seeing how this is going. And so far, it's been pretty good. Last week, we gave away OG April. Yep. That's a PPG of $70 to $75. And it was damaged, but it's still, that person got it for the cost of a like button. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, congrats to the winners. And let's go ahead and get rid of that screen now. Boop. All right. So, that went pretty well. That was pretty easy. I'm working on this StreamYard thing and getting that thing up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I guess we can take down this banner now because no longer coming up, it's done with. Fair point. All right. I wish we had those other stitch pops right now so uh, we could open them. <laughs> yeah. It would, <laughs> it would be pretty cool to see just the, the basic one next to it. Yeah. But how crazy is it that we got two of the chases? The insert on that one's a little weird. Yeah, the insert's a little bent on this one, but like... Well, we got two. So now we got to find out what we're going to be doing with Stitch of the Record Player Chase. We're going to take them on vacation. Yeah, put them up in beach areas. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and the we'll April... play our own yeah. Elvis music. That April O'Neil is so awesome. It really is. Oh, April O'Neil is awesome. And we, yeah, we got that shipped out. I think that was Universal Collector I that got that. I think so, yeah. So that was a pretty good one. Yeah. So we probably are giving away, in my opinion, if I were picking, it would be narrator would be my number one I would pick. And then maybe Clay, maybe Mickey. I don't know. 
Oh, uh, is there anything cool happening on Smart World this weekend? Yeah, what are what are all the weekends drops that are? Let's going find on? out. I don't. Um, let's see, Smart World. I don't remember anything. So Funko Collector X, aka Funko King, still has an amazing set of boxes up. Um, we are lo a little low on money because of everything, you know, the Smart World's anniversary box and then Funko Ween. So we've been kind of low on mystery boxes recently. My world hasn't posted anything for this weekend, so they might be doing it on Wednesday again. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Toyo says has been doing random ones. Spastic has a mystery box up right now. Spastic has an $80 guaranteed value mystery box up. Pop King Paul is doing something different this week. Sunday night, only on Whatnot, he'll, he'll be doing his first ever Grail mystery box auction live on Whatnot. That's pretty crazy. But it's only 10 boxes, and each box will have at least $500 in value. I wonder, like, if that's going to go for auction, I wonder who's going to pay, like, $700 for that. Or, yeah, I don't know. Or if it's just going to be, like, the buy it, the now, buy it now. Yeah. yeah. Those one not auctions are pretty cool. Uh, I feel like we can go there and make a billion dollars sometimes with the amount of stuff that sells for the prices. But that also was back when it was first getting really big. Yeah. We have not watched the Pop and Duos uh, video yet today. Oh, uh, today's one. What is today's one? I saw, you know, just pull. We up. got up and then went to go get pizza. Oh, yeah. So yeah. We, haven't, we haven't been on YouTube yet today. Yeah, we just woke up and went to get some pizza. Oh, it's two Smile World Griller film mystery boxes. No, we haven't seen that one. We're going to watch that after this, though. We did see his top three mega, uh, the mega poll from the Gem Pops one. That was the last big video they put out. So that's pretty cool. Um, but no, that would be cool. I'm going to check that out. Yeah, we woke up immediately, went to Pizza Hut, and then just went and did some shopping. Yeah. Went to Plato's Closet, buying some clothes for some reselling so we can pay for all this random stuff. Yep. Uh, Garrett grabbed his first mystery newt or nerdy newt boxes yesterday. Those ones are cool. Uh, obviously, Nerdy Newt went well for us. We always had a fun time with them. Below Average Mystery Box or Below Average Gaming Dad says, I have mystery boxes up too. That's awesome. Uh, hey, from Pops and Diecast, what's going on? What's going on? There's uh, a lot of really cool stuff happening in the Funko world right now between Funko World, Funko Ween, and mystery boxes that are out. So that is awesome. Yeah. And then picking up all these shirts. Uh, it was really cool, that Funko Ween video that they did, where Fluffy was in it and Elvira was in it. That was cool, yeah. Uh, I know it's, like, kind of corny, kind of funny, but it's it's pretty cool because it's self-aware. You know, it pays tribute to that era of, like, the 1930s to 1950s, like, horror movie genre, which is really big. I mean, here's one of them, right? Like, Invisible Man style with all these guys, like, Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, Wolfman, The Mummy, just... That era was really cool. The Universal Studios monsters. Yeah. Uh, Just Justin, what's up? What's up? Uh, and BKP. So we recently watched those videos. Uh, that was pretty cool. There, there is a lot going on right now. A lot but that costs a lot of money too. But did you see that they have the little monsters golden book? Oh yeah, the golden book. Ah. Uh... Yeah, Leatherface. Yep, I saw that pop out. Leatherface. Oh man, we get we recently got a Leatherface. It wasn't Freddy Funko Leatherface because that would be a Super Grail, but it was like a rather le regular Leatherface. I don't know. I feel like we did. I don't know. You're uh, probably right. But yeah, so much money to spend, and then the sodas. Of course, you got to get six, right? Hey, Teresa, thank you so much. Thank you. Um. Yeah, that is uh, <clears throat> it is big for us to do lives. We're still getting more used to it. Yeah, but uh, we're enjoying it. I'm glad that we had something to open this time. Yeah. We're trying to get things to open on the lives. And, and... plan it out. Yeah. So in this one, we had, <laughs> you know, we had our giveaway. We had uh, talk about Funkoween. We had these mystery minis, little Lilo and Stitch mystery minis to open. Um, but yeah, I this I still can't believe that we got two of the Stitch yeah. choices. And we still have two more on the way and i don't know what they're going to be they're probably going to be commons but it would be I'm awesome okay with that. yeah because the 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 molds are different enough that it's worth getting yeah because sometimes if there's like a metallic and not metallic version 
we'll just get the metallic version and, and we'll just, have that one. Yeah. Uh, personal grail in the mail today from Patty. The Up and Smoke 2-pack. I didn't even know they had that. Hmm. But that's pretty crazy. My dad looks uh, extremely like one of them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so we do our lives here, and then we've been doing like the smaller lives on Patreon. Mm -hmm. uh, and that one's uh, fun in its own way. This one, right, the comments are going fast enough where we can't keep up. Patreon, like, you know, it'll be a little bit shorter, uh, but it's more, you know, us talking directly to people and then replying over and over. So that's fun. And then uh, we are announcing our winner this Friday. Uh, so I think when's the first? Monday? Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, probably. Something like that. So anybody that's in Patreon on the first, then we put all their names in the box and we'll draw it for that uh, Babe Ruth and the Dumpster Fair. And we'll probably put some other stuff in there. Yeah, just because. Collectible Cord won Ace Ventura wow. from Jassy's Waffle. So Jassy from uh, House of a Thousand Pops, uh, pretty awesome channel there. Mm -hmm. uh, she's pretty funny and, some, and just <laughs> she always gets like worse shipping. <laughs> uh, Charlie Black, what's going on? What's going on? The ten inch Michael Myers Bloody Pops. So I think those look really cool. We've been saying that we're trying to stay away from the ten inches because they take up so much room. But there are, are some really cool 10 inch pops, yeah. And the Michael Myers, like the blue look on those. Hey, Wayne Kale, have a good night. Uh, and then with the bloody knife, and then they have the matching little ones, it's really cool. Uh, so that is a pretty cool pickup. Just the 10 inches are so ridiculous. Um, yeah, and then BKP said they ordered that, appeared that one as well. Uh, it was funny because I normally don't buy the 10 inches. And then we got that Skeletor 10 inch. <laughs> yeah. Pre-ordered it and then just showed up one day. And I was like, what? Probably like pre-ordered it in your sleep. Yeah. Half asleep shopping. I mean, you guys, you guys heard of that, right? Like some type of like altered state mind, whether it's whether you're tired or been drinking or whatever, but like you're on your phone laying in bed and you're like, I would like that. I'll just buy it. And then <laughs> it shows up like in six months, you totally forgot. All right. Yeah. We're saving our tennis shoes for top of the shelves. Yeah. Yep. We put them on the top of the shelves along with some chomps. Uh, so many things coming in June. Excited for Creed. Oh, man. I can't wait to get Creed. Yeah. At first I was like the band or <laughs> <laughs> or the Apollo Creed. But now, yeah. Creed Brenton. Creed Brenton, when and what's he got? Like, there's there's him and there's a Chase, and then there's like a Walmart exclusive or something, or is, is the Walmart the Chase? I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to say that there's one where he's got like the the I, I don't remember, but I want to say there's the one with the blood on him. <laughs> um, uh, is there the mung beans? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been so long. Do we feel pressure pre-ordering items or just wait? That is a really good question. Uh, I get caught up in the fear of missing out type thing. And then, like, for example, this Stitch Pop, when it came out on Friday morning, I knew that it was one of the ones coming up, but I didn't know which one it was going to be. I think it was Friday. Because they give off his old man smell. Yeah, there is a mung bean one, <laughs> and then there's a bloody one. Okay. But, yeah, I get caught up in the fear of missing out. And then, yeah. but sometimes it pays off, like the Stitch one. Right. I just randomly like set all my alarms and I kept waking up at normal times. It dropped like for us, Eastern Standard Time, 1230, 1245, uh, 1 p.m., 130. <laughs> and then it, hey, close, what's up? Hey, New York City Pops, what's up? Uh, NYC Pops. Um, but yeah, they're, sometimes it pays off. Other times my fear of missing out works against me when I buy something that's a common pop and then it's released in stores a couple months later. And then it's been two or three months after that, and it finally shows up at our house, and then it's damaged. And I could have just bought it at the store yep. for less money because I didn't have to pay for shipping and not damaged. So sometimes it does, uh, you know, work against us. That's why uh, I decided that we just weren't going to get, we weren't going to pre-order these round of Office Pops because I was like, um, I'll just take my chances and hopefully get them when they come out. If uh, I don't, then I don't, but whatever. And that, that's what happened to us on some Alien Remix stuff. Yeah. We found the 10-inch Alien Remix uh, Sully, 
and we had pre-ordered it and i was like when the ships it might show up really damaged so then we bought it and then we bought one in the store and then it showed up so we spent like 60 plus shipping so i think like 70 dollars on one pop and now we just have two 10 inch sullies for no reason mm, yeah beer collector says got the king and kodos glow in the dark two pack today post pics on the instagram nice and that is one of the best simpson pops that there are yeah like, that there is that there are because there's two of them. i don't know um but that's awesome uh yeah the the fomo thing that sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't work out uh but getting the pre-order is great like uh patty says it's locked up it makes you feel safe um and that's true and sometimes you pre-order something you have no idea that that's going to be the thing that takes off and everybody wants yep and then you're like but i got it coming to my house yeah uh, which is an awesome feeling, especially when it shows up, even if it is a little bit later than the stores. Uh, but sometimes you end up just having, you know, 38 pops that you could have got for a better, uh, better price. How do we feel about the cereal box pops? Huh. Glad you asked. They're cute. <laughs> <laughs> they, it has to be certain ones with those. Yeah. Like a lot of those, like, uh, food ones recently we haven't been crazy about, but like Booberry, Frankenberry, and Count Chocula, they're really cute. So the pros is they're very cute. The cons are like, it's not as relatable for some of those, like the spam, right? Uh, Stitch, we saw the movie together. We had a lot of fun watching it, you know, other things, right? I'm sure we even played like video games that had Stitch in it. Uh, but I've never played a video game that had spam in it. I never had like spam... <laughs> You know, being like, oh, man, Spam is my favorite. Uh, luckily, I do like Lucky Charms. So uh, the Lucky Charms here one, the Funko Shop that's coming out, I do want that one. Uh, but it has to be cute and it has to be something that I want relatable to. Yes. And I do love the cereal ad icons. So those ones work out. Like as much as I love Cherry Coke, um, I don't I don't want the Cherry Coke pop. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's cute. I've thought about it for having it at work because they make fun of me. Because I first off, I have... A cherry vanilla coke right in front of me uh so uh you know i thought that would be a good one to have at my job like on my desk or something uh, and i think that's what those ones are for like uh they're fun they're little good gifts like you know you want to poke fun at somebody maybe you make fun of their food and say it tastes like spam or something i don't know and then you buy them the spam pop and you give it to them and it's a it's a fun little thing but it's not going to be worth a lot of money in the future or really personal except for if you have a specific situation where spam was a big deal yeah um uh, or if you nickname somebody as spam, that'd be a pretty funny that's, way to get to them. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, and someone said, BKP says, uh, they're saying the cereal box will be featured rails. I'm not sure. I mean. I, I don't know. If they're Funko Shop exclusives, maybe. If they're a limited run, maybe. Yeah. Um, who knows, though? Uh, <laughs> the Newport box with arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. Uh, Nick says, being blind disabled, I can only really pre-order, and so far I've not received any damage pops. That's that's impressive. Yeah, and I think most of our um, pre-orders have not been damaged, I don't think. Yeah, we... I feel like we've only had a couple that have been damaged. We've, we've been... Very yeah. minor amount. And and that is a good point, but usually if you buy like a 10-inch pop, it's easier for those to show up damaged. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> spam is a rough nickname to have yeah that's that's true <laughs> spam is a rough nickname to have um in the navy we love we love giving each other nicknames and uh you know we just come up with the most random nicknames uh usually related to somebody uh about what they did or said um or you just say you know you make a deal like uh there's a famous one where this guy was eating pudding every day every single day this guy ate pudding and he would never finish it and we're like why do you get so much pudding if you don't finish it and for some reason, we said, if you don't finish this bowl of pudding, your nickname will be pudding forever. And then he didn't finish the bowl of pudding thinking it wasn't going to be it. To this day, there are people that call him. I don't even know who those people are. They call him pudding. And we even raised a bunch of money because he ended up having a daughter. And we said, if you um, <laughs> if you name your daughter Tapioca, we'll give you like, I think we raised like $10,000. You know, like, <laughs> we'll give you $10,000. And you can put it in our college fund and it can grow by the time she's 18. You know, it'll have a great amount of money, pay for her whole college, whatever. Obviously, he didn't name his kid Tapioca. I mean, yeah. For 10 grand. Yeah, 10 grand. 
Um, obviously, since he didn't name it, we all got to keep the money. But uh, but spam would be a pretty good nickname. Uh, hey, Mojo Loco, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, your soda dropped, and I was sad because I wasn't able to get any. And that chase on that Mojo oh, yeah. soda is amazing. It is. Uh, Patty says, I like picking up orders in store, so if there is damage, you can get the refund immediately. Uh, and that's a good idea. If you do a ship to your store, yeah. you show up. If it's messed up, you're like, nah, or just turn around. <laughs> for, yeah, for right. For 10K, I would have named my son Tapioca. He can change it later. Yeah, and that's a good point. It probably <laughs> doesn't cost that much to change it. Yeah. Um, you just but, take a little bit out of that money, change the name later. Nobody said it had to be Tapioca forever. Yeah, and that's that's one thing that we did a lot in Navy is we were just, you know, for example, this guy was eating a jelly donut. And the jelly flopped out onto the ground. And the the floor in the birthing area, the lounge area, is really nasty, right? Because you just have hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people walking on this every day. And uh, you go down into the like the the engineering plants and stuff, and your feet get all oily, and then you walk back up and you walk all over it. So the jelly hit the ground, and immediately the first thing somebody says is like $10 to eat that. And then somebody else is like, I'll throw in 20, I'll throw in 20, I'll throw in 10. And between the 20 people in the lounge, you got $200 to eat this oily, dirty, nasty jelly off the ground. That's disgusting. Yeah. So, and that was the case all the time. We're always just like, you know, 10 on that. Uh, Mojo says, still waiting on the pre-order. Oh, Mojo, you got the sodas? Oh, That's man. good. That'd be awesome. Because those chases, first off, yeah. are beautiful. Yeah. And secondly, I was like, well, you know, I wasn't able to get it. I'll go on uh, eBay and maybe ch check one out. $250 what people are asking. So... That is a good one. Wow. Uh, secondly, soda chases. What is going on with those? Yeah. Hey, beer collector, have a good one. Soda chases. Frankenberry, uh, Count Chocula, Fruit Brew, Yummy Mummy, all those are selling for over $200 out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It was like a week ago. They were selling for like 50 to 100 and now they're just skyrocketing. Um, not sure what we're going to do because we have the count soda chase. We do. And we're like, man, that could fund some mystery boxes. It could. It but could. I really like it. It's it's blue and it's beautiful. Hey, Zika, what's up? Yeah, it is a really pretty blue on that count chase. So sodas are getting really popular. So that's cool. Um, and the chases are going for a lot. Uh, in the comments for certain ones, like Sleeve Stack Common is like $70 to $150. Uh, people are still selling the New York City Comic Con or New York Comic Con Freddy Funko sealed for like two hundred to two hundred fifty dollars for the crazy. sealed can because you pull the chase out of that and that's like a seven to a thousand seven hundred to a thousand dollar chase so that's pretty crazy so sodas that's a big deal it's got to be the right ones though because I mean we had Thanos and we pulled the chase and his price is decent it's like forty to fifty dollars uh, and I don't know if that one's going to take off or not but. Uh, but those serial ad icons went crazy. Uh, our own mystery box actually recently was thinking about this because we're thinking about a giveaway for a couple things, right? Either Patreon or the channel. And we're thinking, what if we do our own mystery box as the giveaway? And we can just say PPG guaranteed value is whatever, but it's a giveaway. So it doesn't matter. Uh, and then just throw some fun pops in there. Uh, I've kind of shied away from doing a mystery box because most everything that we have, we show off on camera. Yeah. So I guess it would still be a mystery for you guys, but you'd open up and you'd be like, oh, I remember this from this episode. I remember this from this episode. And that might be good for people, might not. I don't know. The Fred Flintstone Chase 145, that's another one. It's a yeah. beautiful one. Uh, okay, Thomas, I appreciate that. That makes us that makes Aww. us happy. But yeah, Ziga, I think I, I have a thing on Mystery Box, and it might just be a giveaway. I don't think we have enough pops to put together a run of mystery boxes. Yeah, we don't. Uh, at least because we want, if we did a mystery box, we'd want it to be really cool. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't want just four commons in a box. We'd want some really cool things. Um, if we did like a sell, like 10 mystery box or something. Uh, yeah, mystery boxes, obviously we love them. Uh, but I think, I think we might do a, uh, whatever. I think I might do a mystery box for a giveaway. I think that's a good one because we're doing one mystery box, a giveaway. It's fun for everybody. Mm -hmm. They kind of, you know, but we don't have to put a lot of work into it because we're lazy. Yeah. Bully Chick says, I came in during conversation. I have serial icons I'm getting rid of. Uh, that's, that's a good time because 
the cereal is just going crazy. Yeah, right now. they are. Um, yeah, if you're if you're looking to sell those and you want to sell them, just and you want people to go check that out, totally cool to put that in the in the conversation going on. Or us, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to PM you. Um, we'll check it out. We like we said earlier in the show, we're a little low on money because we went crazy for Funko Ween as well as my anniversary. Uh, Mojo says I was able to finally pre-order that glow in the dark Cheshire cat. Uh, which is weirdly enough a BAM exclusive. That's cool. And that's a really cool. And a lot of people are talking about that. Yeah. Uh, Zika says first mystery box. Toyo say pulled a $250 pop from a $60 box. Nice. That's a hit. Uh, we recently saw a bunch of people posting. Somebody pulled foot soldier out of a Toyo say box. Um, we have pulled some amazing things out of Toyo say boxes. Um, our friends just told us we're not going to, say who it is because they're going to put on their channel. I don't want to ruin it, but they pulled, uh, I'm not, yeah, I won't say who it is, but they pulled funky phantom out of a mystery box. Toyo say nice. And that was one of the first boxes that we ever pulled. It was off camera before we, yeah. Filmed, and we got funky phantom and then we got lion and we're like, wow, this is, these are some great hits. We should do mystery boxes all the time. And that's how we started the channel. Yep. Um, Oh, nice. Oh, well, mystery first grail, grail box. from the mystery grail box. First star sticker. We haven't gotten any of those. And I'm thinking about ordering this week because. What are the hits? I, I already forget, but I remember being, I remember being interested. Um, I would forget too, so. Mystery grill box. What are the hits this week? And remember, this is a hit or miss style box. A lot of people talk about it. Oh, yeah. The Freddy Funko is Superman. Oh, yeah. And then Super Shadow. And then they got some premium grails, Nidri, uh, Marty McFly, stuff like that. But and they even have like Loch Ness Fun Funko Shop in the lower grails. Okay. So that would be a cool one. But Freddy Funko Superman. I love Freddy Funko. Superman's pretty cool. Um, so that I think we might buy a couple of those. Uh Deadpool 30th uh, birthday minis. Was nope. that uh, unboxing treasures that was just opening those recently? Uh, I think so. Oh yeah, because he he got so many of the one out of six. Yeah. Uh, he was really hoping for. I mean, they're all really cool looking. They really are all really cool looking. Uh, but Nick's gonna get some of those two cases. Pretty awesome. Um. <laughs> oh, Zika, Zika pulled the the Snake Pliskin. So Snake Pliskin is from the. Uh, it's Escape Kurt, from New York. Yeah, it's Kurt Russell, and he has Escape from New York and Escape from L.A. Escape from New York was the first one, and pretty much New York uh, has been turned into a prison with walls all around, and the president's plane goes into it by accident, and they send in Snake Plissken to get out the, to get the president out of there. Uh, it's a pretty cool movie. It's very 80s. It's 100% 80s, so if you're not in 80s movies, it's not going to be that great. Uh, but it is a cool pop, and it is a cool movie, and a lot of people love that. And still a good hit. Out of a $60. Yeah, yeah. In either way, like, amazing grill. Sean, what's going on? What's going on? We're doing all right. Yeah. We had a pretty good day. We slept until like 3 p.m. <laughs> My hours have shifted from 4 p.m. to, to fair, 2 a.m. We went to bed like when normal people would be getting up for the day. Yeah. My, so. Yeah. My day shifted like really far into the evening. It's so, so it's so bad. Uh Bullet Chick says, I'm going to do mystery boxes. That's a, it's a great idea. Yeah. If you have a decent amount of following, um, and if you have people like, you know, if you're not a mystery box company, if you have people that, if you're going to be selling them, uh, if you have a good amount of following and people that can like vouch for you, that's awesome. Sometimes people get a hold of us on Instagram and they say, hey, do you want to do mm -hmm. a mystery box? Do you want to buy our mystery box? And they have like zero followers and zero, and like they might be the coolest people in the world, the coolest mystery boxes. But we can't take that chance every single time because there's going to be somebody out there eventually that just takes advantage of that. Yeah. So you have to be careful. Um, the common oogie boogie soda, which is better than a chase. I 100% agree. The common oogie boogie soda is very, very cool. The chase is also cool because it's like the more not realistic, but the more true to, to the true version, I guess you would say. But I love the, uh, the non-chase. Hey, James, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hey, bourbon bacon. Oh, yeah, I'm missing out. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, yeah, it's, you know, we've only done a couple lives, so uh, yeah. we're still pretty new at it. Yeah, I think this is what, our third or something? Yeah, this is our third on here, and I think we've done two on Patreon. 
uh, try and do those decent amount because, you know, we should. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. Um, so it is 855. Uh, oh, just in a collectible course, says just in a jump hops box battle with unboxing treasures. Um, that's yeah. Unbox treasures is awesome. First off, yeah. gem, pop, gem pops. We got that two can sandwich is amazing. Yeah. Uh, so I know some people that are watching this are going to go and watch, uh, and we're not plugging beard of pops channel, but we're going to plug beard of pops channel. Uh, I think in five minutes, he's doing his 25,000 subscriber giveaway. Mm -hmm. uh, I have no idea what he's giving away. I caught a couple of his videos recently, but haven't been keeping up too much with beard of pop. Uh, really cool channel, really big. A lot of people love him. Uh, and we kind of watch regularly, but not every single video. Yeah. Uh, and that's okay. I mean, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he likes the support, but he's going to be doing a big 25 K subscriber giveaway. Hopefully he's giving away some really cool stuff because that is a crazy milestone. Yeah. Um, so congratulations to him on that, but I know some of you guys are going to want to watch that. So we're going to head out of here and let anybody wants to move over there, do that. And then we're probably going to go watch some TV or something. Maybe relax. Yeah. Maybe check out our brand oh! new Chase Stitches. <laughs> all right. So I appreciate you guys all stopping by. Uh, thank you so much. If you're rewatching this, thank you for rewatching it. Um, and congrats to the two people. I already forgot who it was. Uh, A Teams and Prince Vegeta yep. that got the giveaways. And you know, thank you for watching us open a stitch a stitch chases. Yeah. So we really appreciate it. Um, trying to catch your last comments, but either way, thank you so much. We'll read through the comments as we leave. Have a good night. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Thank you. Thank you. See you later.